welcome back to my channel and welcome to another, yet again, reorganizing video. I feel like I do these a lot. I'm just one of those people that I'm, I'm always constantly adjusting how I have things organized. I love reorganizing. Back when I was a teenager, I used to like redo my room like every month. Like once a month I would go through and move all the furniture in my room around. Um, and I don't, I don't know why. I've just always enjoyed like adjusting things and tweaking slightly. So that's what we're doing again today. We are going, as you can see, there's a ginormous mess behind me. Um, you're going to get a better look in a second, but my filming area slash getting ready area slash workspace is a constant mess and um, I need to get it reorganized once again. So that's what we're doing. I'm hoping I can find a system that works a little better. I am going to be moving some furniture around and stuff like that and just doing a general cleanup as I go. Um, and yeah, I asked you guys on Snap if you wanted to see this, if you'd like to see me film it, and I got a ton of feedback saying yes please, so I thought I would go ahead and share that with you today as a little more casual. Probably going to speed through a lot of it because I like to listen to music pretty loudly while I reorganize. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, I should probably, I just realized I should probably give you guys an overview of what it looks like before we get started. I think most of you have seen my close up of this before, but basically this little drawer set right here is from, all of it's from Ikea, all the furniture. Uh, but that is called the Miki drawers, I believe. It's a set of four drawers, um, it has a roller on the bottom. I like it because it's the same height as the desks, so it kind of makes it look like an extension of the desk. When I have it pushed in correctly, there's a big gap right now, so I need to fix that. Um, but it does look like an extension of the desk, but it offers me a little bit more storage, so I do like that a lot. Um, and then this, both the desks are Miki Desks, um, M-E-K-E. I will link it if I can. So the thing that drives me nuts about the desks is I wanted desks that were the same height, so when I went to get my second desk, because I needed more space, um, this was the only desk I could find at this height, but in order to make it a corner desk the way I wanted it, I had to block off one of the drawers. So as you can see, that drawer right there is blocked off. So um, I'm going to be moving it so that I have access to that drawer now. Um, and then, yeah, so it won't be a corner desk anymore. But as you can see, this is just goes into the corner, and then this is another Miki desk going this direction. Um, this desk currently is basically where I do my work. So all of my editing and computer work and everything happens here. And then this desk here is my everyday makeup drawer uh, desk. So those two drawers right there house all my everyday makeup drawer. Every time I do a shot my stash, you guys see into those drawers so you pretty much know what is happening inside there. Um, I do have a little bit of makeup kind of stored on top here as well. I'm not sure how that's all going to work when we move things, but, oh, and then underneath all this craziness that's happening underneath, um, there's that little silver thing is a garbage can. All of these boxes are boxes that I save. Anytime I get a box, I kind of like save it because I might need it. What I'm really saving them for is like um, shipping off packages for my giveaway winners and stuff like that, but I need a better way to organize it rather than just throwing it under my feet there because it's getting really disorganized. And then this little black thing right here, um, that is just like a storage ottoman I got at Target years ago. And inside there is just full of packing and shipping supplies. So I have tons of manila envelopes in there, like the bubble, bubble envelopes for shipping things like when I sell stuff on my Poshmark and things like that. Um, and yeah, I probably don't need to save all of them. But inevitably, I'll get rid of a bunch, and then I need a whole bunch, and I have to purchase them, and I hate purchasing them when I can get them for free. So anyways, that's a dilemma. I need to find a better way to store those. And then, as you guys know, I have the two sets of Alex 9 drawers, which are right here. So that is the starting point. I am going to be moving furniture around. So um, now my next step is removing all of everything that's on top. I just removed like the clutter and stuff that didn't belong there, but now I'm going to move everything off of the desktops and off the Alex 9 drawers because I am going to be moving all of this around. So that's what we are doing next. Wish me luck. Actually, I will tell you guys, that desk there and that Miki drawer is not moving. The one that has my computer on it, so I'm not going to move the stuff from there. Just this one. I forgot to say that.
my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm right in the middle of moving it all around. I'm gonna show you guys from this angle what it looks like because I'm not, hmm, not crazy about it, but here's the thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is, um, you know, my husband and I were thinking about possibly selling our house and moving, and my hope was that we'd be able to find a house where I had a dedicated beauty room. Well, we found out that we're not quite ready to move yet. Um, the market's just not right quite yet, so we need to wait a while, um, maybe a year, possibly even two years. So in the meantime, I have to make do with what I have, which is a small corner of my bedroom that I film in and work in. So um, the way I had it set up wasn't really functioning well, so I wanted something a little bit more functional that could be more of a permanent solution. And I, like I mentioned before, I wanted to separate those desks so that I could utilize both drawers in the one desk but I also wanted to be able to have almost have it more separated because even though there were two separate desks one for makeup and one for um like work and computer and all of that it still felt like it was all in one space and because of that it just uh, it would just cause problems so anyway um let me show you what I did all right, so this area stayed the same. So we still have the little Mickey roller. So on my computer here, all of that is the same. Um, but then uh, the nine drawers, I slid over here. Now I did test this. I kept this drawer open all the way. That's as far as it opens. So I did test it and keep that open so I could move these as close to possible as the, to this desk without um, hindering the ability to use that drawer so I can use that drawer now but it does feel a little closed off and then on this side is going to be my makeup desk so this is the one that has all of my everyday makeup in it so um, I think what I'm gonna have to do because um, it does feel a little claustrophobic I'm gonna uh, you know what this is gonna be more functional that's the thing it doesn't look as nice but it's gonna be more functional for me. So I'm gonna to have to get a small chair to go here or maybe just one chair that has a roller that I can roll back and forth. Um, and then I'll set all my makeup stuff over here. But this is going to allow me to film here and have natural light because where I had it set up before, um, back in this corner, there was the natural light was coming from the side of me instead of in front of me. Now it'll be coming from directly in front of me. I'll still probably have to set up some lights because even on a nice day, it's dark in here. So anyway, yeah, let me finish putting it together and we'll see, we'll see. All right guys, so I finished putting it together. Now here's the thing, it definitely is not as pretty as it used to be, but I don't know, I feel like it might help. I think it might be more functional for me. So I'm gonna try it for a while. If it's not, if it doesn't do what I'm hoping it's gonna do for me, um, I might move it all back, but it didn't take me too long. I think it took me about 40 minutes altogether, so it's not a big deal, but um, I'll show you guys what it turned out like. So obviously this all stayed the same. For now, I stuck my uh, fragrance holder here. That was supposed to be on the wall. I had it hung up on the wall and it pulled itself out. So when my husband gets home, I'm gonna have him help me hang it properly so that it will stay on the wall and then I'll put all of my uh, fragrance is back in there. So that is gonna go right here, not on the floor there, but for now I just wanted it out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be hung up again. Um, and then the nine drawers, that all stayed pretty much the same. I just slid it over. Um, these are all the fragrances that are gonna go back into the cabinet once it's hung, but everything else that's up there is belonging up there. Um, as you can see, when my chair is here, it does block my Alex nine drawers, but that's okay because I really only go inside of there if I'm getting ready to film something and I need to grab a product or when I'm filming my shop, my stash, all of my other makeup that I use on a daily basis is kept in here. So this is kind of like storage basically. Um, and I don't mind having to move my chair when I need to get in there. The thing that's going to annoy me is having to move it, flip it back and forth every time I want to do something because it doesn't have wheels. So I might get one with wheels for that. Um, but then this is how the other side turned out. I put the little storage thing right here. And then as you can see, there's nothing under here. So it looks a lot cleaner. Um, I just put the um, makeup that I had on top in the corner here. I got rid of the light because I'm hoping now that I'm facing a window, I will actually have some natural light and I won't have to use that crappy little light that gave me horrible lighting anyways. Um, and I am planning to get a mirror that is a light up mirror because I've heard good things about the simple human one, so I wanna pick that up. But anyway, that is where I put the makeup, kind of in the corner there, brushes right in the center. Those will probably bug me. I'll probably move them a few times. And then for now I have this 
dirty little mirror right here. Um, but yeah, that is how it all turned out. I'm going to give you a view from here. So now when I'm filming, I'm going to set up my, my uh, tripod with my camera right here and that will be my background. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this organizational video. I'll definitely be giving you guys some updates and let you know if this new setup is working better or not as well and all of that. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.